morning guys, 5 a.m. Just woken up the neighborhood and we're now en route to Leon for the GAD tuning challenge. One fuel tank, 611 miles. This video is going to probably just be a sequence of updates like the London to Edinburgh challenge. So it's easy for me to edit when we get to Leon because we're going to be shattered and um, then we're also going to just try and get as much sleep as possible. So we'll update you as much as I can in terms of how much fuel I've got and everything like that. Probably give you some MPG updates as well, but at the moment I need some energy drink. Update number one on the M25. Firstly, I didn't mention that the full tank was already put in the car the night before because I prepared like that. And secondly, it was giving us a reading of 310 miles, which is 300 less than we need to get to Leon. And as we're on the M25 now, we've been going for 10 minutes, it's saying 340. So we're going up quick, which is nice. And we've got a two hour drive to get to Dover, where we're gonna get a ferry this time, because there's lots of things that you can do on a ferry that you can't do on a Euro tunnel. One, like go to the toilet in comfort, two, get breakfast, and three, just chill out. It's a slightly longer journey, but I'd much prefer to do it on the ferry that way rather than the Euro tunnel. And then it's a six or seven hour drive through France down into Lyon. The last updates in the UK, oil check. Fuel economy not so check, we're on 365 miles and hopefully the ferry is going to give us that little nudge that we need, it's going to like just hit us a little bit closer to Liam without having to use any fuel. This is the best our fuel economy will ever be, cruising across the channel, not turning our engine on. Woo -hoo! Into France, bring it on. So the first sign for Leon has arrived 657 kilometers away, which I have no idea what that converts to in mileage. My trip is saying 275 miles though, so we're just cruising, but it's going up and it's going up pretty quickly. So, come on. I'm 
Jesus and I'll start vlogging more. So, through the means of magic and a portable charger, we've got our phone working again and we are able to calculate the distance that we have left from Leon, which is 102 miles. My trip is saying 90 miles, so we're 12 miles short of arriving in Leon at the moment. And I'm in a dilemma of whether to just keep going. I'm doing 70. We have not done a fuel run at all or eco drive. We did for a bit, but then got bored. And it's ridiculous how well this car is performing. And I just don't know what to do, whether to try and get there. I know there's going to be loads of people saying that once you get to the red line, it says zero miles. I've just gone down to 85 now. Some people say if it goes down to zero, you will, uh, you still have 20 miles or whatever, but you're really just churning the bottom sludge of your fuel tank, and it's not good for the car, especially not heading down into Monaco. I'm to get my thinking cap on, and my thinking hat. Bad news update. We're now 90 miles away from Leon, and we've got 75 miles of fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pulling over for fuel. Gad tuning, we failed. But I don't think we actually failed. I think my head wasn't in it. But we're gonna get fuel, and then hit Leon within an hour. Edit this video, go to sleep, and start all over again tomorrow. So a sad end to the video, I thought I could do it. But unfortunately, there's a Ferrari, 355 Spider, as you probably heard. Anyway, that is it. Gad tuning, I failed. Refilling my car before we got to Leon. I do think this car is capable, but waking up at five o'clock in the morning has just worked me out, so it's time to get to Leon. Edit this video. Get my head down, and then the vlogs are going to be coming over the next two weeks. are going to be insane, along with the supercar videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. I'll go to sleep.